Okay, uh, if I'm doing the Course in Miracles, this is the question, if I'm doing the Course in Miracles, will it transfer to my partner? And, um, now he, I mean, in absolute truth, there is no separation, meaning there is no me and you. Um, and so what is it that stops me from recognizing the truth right now and my partner from recognizing the truth right now? Well, it's uh, the beliefs I'm holding and identifying with that stop me off from being the absolute truth right now. And my partner's beliefs that she's holding on to uh, that would stop her from doing it. Now, I would say that one of the greatest gifts you can give anyone and all the people who you know, your family, loved ones, is to do one of the greatest gifts to do the Course in Miracles and the daily lessons because it's such a, uh, like, a, a what do I call it? it? It's like a, it's like a, it's like an axe. It's like taking an axe to to the ego, and everyone's ego, and also everyone's ego around you. And miracles will not only happen uh, in your life, but also in the lives of others. However, you can't like determine. There is an aspect of um, what I call karmic permission or spiritual eligibility as to when and how. The miracles happen for yourself and for your partner or all those around you but when you as your level of consciousness increases and you're working on your own stuff it will be i mean anyone who's spiritually connected is like it's like spiritual oxygen it's like you're starting to emit more love and light wherever you go so everyone starts to feel more calm more relaxed they start to feel more positive and they'll act out on their normal neurosis is less and less often because you're now it's like as soon as you walk in the room or as soon as you think of them they'll just suddenly feel a little bit quieter and a little bit more relaxed so you are in fact by definition a channel of that infinite love and if, if your focus goes anywhere or if your presence goes anywhere it's like that place is illuminated with love and light and people who would normally be like if someone was going to be if you weren't in the vicinity uh, they'd be like acting out at a craziness level of pl plus 10. They'll only be acting out, depending on how good your connection is, at a plus 5. And if you're really connected, they might even feel quite peaceful and chilled out. So you are a blessing. Now, when you're, when you're disconnected and your partner's disconnected in, a, in the same room, it's like you're both disconnected. There's no light and love there. And, and it's, both of you will just be like in 100% negativity and be triggered by each other because there's no sort of that light and love which sort of subdues your ego and their ego isn't there to sort of calm things down and so it's like uh, the ego in the darkness starts uh, you know sort of starts howling with uh, discomfort so it's it's a tremendous thing to do the course of miracles now naturally um, usually I would say if you've got a romantic partner it's ordained she's your assignment the uh, romantic partners, I doubt, would happen by random accident in this universe. So there's probably baggage there. Uh, now, karma, I mean, you can do the anti-karma prayer uh, for heavy bits of karma, where you suspect, even though you're doing lots of spiritual work, that your partner won't let you go on certain things. And that could be because there's been a past life or a this lifetime when they want to get a certain level of karmic, I call it karma, it's not the right word, is it? karmic payback, let me use the word karmic payback, it's like you, in the last lifetime you gave me three years of hell by behaving this way you're not going to get off the hook that easily just by a few prayers for a few weeks you know you're going to have to really do a lot of spiritual work before I'll let you off the hook with this with this uh, aspect mm -hmm. of the relationship but sometimes that people will moan like I've been praying for two weeks and she, the partner's still doing this crazy action and it's like it will, I mean, my experience, I would say, just you can't see how much of a wound, how much of a balancing needs to be done. Just keep doing it and it, things should get better. In terms of the miraculous, I mean, I've shared this story countless times. And um, and I think Dr. Hugh Len is one of the most um, physical examples I can give. And of course, everyone who does the Course in Miracles or spiritual work is doing this. But Dr. Hugh Len, who had... Um, Imagine a prison full of convicts in Hawaii and someone giving a file of the uh, documents of all the prison files, like this person likes murder, this person likes to run over kids, 
and he just looked at that and just did the did the spiritual work internally you know like he wasn't saying this he uses a, his own mechanism like god is a love in which i forgive this man for um running over people god is a love in which i forgive this man for having beaten his wife whatever it is he did that and he was doing this spiritual he didn't actually meet any of the people in the prison he just got the files of what they did and did the forgiveness so on his behalf on their behalf like uh, he cleared their baggage, their karmic baggage, their belief system. And this is true, it's a documented story, that's why I can talk about it. Is the whole prison, everyone in that prison got well and they shut the prison down. Uh, and that's like, so imagine being in a romantic relationship and seeing every single neurosis your partner has got and saying like, God did not create a grumpy partner and so he's not real. Or God is a love in which I forgive my partner for being grump uh, grumpy no god is a i pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's been grumpy towards others in relationships in this lifetime and past lifetimes so that's the anti karma prayer so at a certain point uh, and i'll give you two examples because i it took five years for me of spiritual work with my mother and uh, and the relationship transformed from a very difficult relationship to a beautifully loving harmonious relationship before she died and that was miraculous when i tried to do the work of transcending problem wasn't my mother it was the baggage I held within me about my mother and the miracle happened you know it was absolute love when I transcended my stuff around my mother I didn't it wasn't about changing her and telling her how to how she should change I knew that and it did work but another one was um, when my mother um, uh, went she had heart failure and she went to the doctor and um, the doctor said to her, and she had oedema, her legs were swelling up and puffing up like balloons. And my mother said, can you give me something? My leg, and the doctor just said to her, I think, it sounded like in a very cruel way. Look, you've got heart failure. There is no medicine. There's nothing we can do for you uh, with heart failure. Just, there's, there isn't anything else we can do. And she came back and she told me this story. And I was absolutely, like, upset. How could the doctor speak in such a you know, such an uncompassionate and such a cruel, almost like, you know, you're almost like you're garbage now. You haven't got a heart that can do anything. There is no medication, no band-aid for you. Just go away, kind of thing. And I, I thought, and she was obviously distressed. And I, th and then the intu intuition popped into my mind. It said like, well, you're doing the Course of Miracles. Just do God did not create Udima in your mother. Do it for her. So I started doing it like a, uh, like a mantra. God did not create Udim in my mother, and so it is not real. I mean, I'd had so many illnesses and things disappear in me, but I just did it for myself. So now I was doing it for my mother because I felt really sort of upset by how the doctor had treated her. And within a day, the Udim was vanishing. And then my mother actually in, kind of intuitively knew that I was doing something. And she told, and she'd show me her leg and say, look, it's going down. And within a few days, it had gone. And that was the thing. So the great power, even if you're in a relationship with those you're loved who are going through distress, of just doing the Course in Miracles. So you, um, so yes, I would say doing the Course in Miracles with a romantic partner is going to have uh, a huge effect. And it's, it's a great blessing. More, I'd say, than just giving them money or, yeah. or whatever it is. You know, it's just doing the Course because this kind of huge baggage they've got by doing the course, it's, it's the greatest gift.